Welcome back to the shadow of Dana's destiny slash memories. So, well, we should probably try a bit harder to repair the timeline uh, than we did last time. So let's go back. Go on, let's, let's go back together. Hmm. What was that? This must be important. <laughs> hmm, they didn't hear me the first time. This must be important. Ah, so that's what I've been doing wrong all these years. No. No, you can't just spring something like that on me. But if you stay here, it's going to affect the timeline. What? What kind of a... You're saying I should go back for the... for the timeline? Uh, I didn't mean... So I'm supposed to abandon my life here for the sake of your timeline. You left me here for four years, remember? And now we're both going to pretend like those four years didn't exist? That... that really sucks, Ike. Dana... Sorry. I'm sorry I lost it. But... but it's just not possible. I can't just erase four years worth of good memories from my mind. Even if I were to go back, I would always be thinking of my life here. I'd have to, I know that. Being asked to go back, that's just so... <laughs> no, I'm the one who should apologize. I'm really sorry. Why couldn't you have shown up right after I got here? Then I could have gone back. Yeah, you're right. I'm just so sorry. But, is that what you want? To spend your whole life here? Please, let me think about it for a while. It's too big a decision. Okay. I'll leave you alone. I'll be back later. Could you think about it until then? I know it's heavy stuff. Alright. See you later, then. Uh, oh, wait, hold on! My boss. You know, the one at the cafe I used to work at. If you see him, could you say hello? Tell him I'm sorry I just disappeared on him like that. And tell him that he should deduct that shift from my paycheck. Uh, I don't think that's necessary. You don't? But I was supposed to open the shop the next day. I wonder if everything turned out okay. I can't believe I'm so worried about it at this point. Don't worry about that. It's only been about half a day since I met you, after all. Huh? What does that mean? Well, actually, it's... Nah, uh, forget it. I'll give him the message. Really? So that's okay, then? Sure. <sighs> That's one thing I don't have to stress about anymore. Well, take care of yourself. I'll see you later. Thanks. You too, Ike. That really sucks, Ike. So, Dana, it's a bit easier than you think to erase uh, four years worth of good memories from your mind. But for now, well, actually, yeah, let's go and uh, give that red stone over to Dr. Wagner. And then we'll just take a trip back to, uh, to the present and we'll hopefully, maybe, deliver a message to uh, Boss. Although I'm not sure if he'd be out there at that time. Do what we can. Let's see. Oh! Come on in. You do like to show up unannounced, Let's see. don't you? Won't change until we actually get down here, I believe. Dr. Wagner.
You, you have by chance the Philosopher's Stone? Well, nice to see you yes. too, Doc. Is this it? That's the only stone I know that fits the bill. Ah, in the name of heaven, I, I shall start the preparations the for the experiment the right now. Time. It's all right. It doesn't matter if this is not the true stone. I am grateful for your help regardless. But if it is the stone, the result should be wondrous. Hmm. Please, come back again in, let's see, five, no, make it ten days. Ten days, okay. That would be the thirteenth. Oh. What is it? That experiment's dangerous. That may be, but this is something I want to do. Something I must do. Please, try to understand. Ten days from now, by then, the experiment should yield fruit. I will be able to show you the homunculus. At last, science will prove itself capable of creating life. How I wish she could have been here, Elena. That is my only regret. See you in ten days, then. Oh, and one more thing. Could you keep this a secret from Hugo and Margaret? Knowing Hugo as I do, if he learns of this, he might do something like attempt to bring Helena back from the dead. He can't seem to face his mother's death. Should this experiment succeed, and if I manage to find what answers I can in my quest for truth, I shall commit all records of my research to the fire. Now, take care. Ah, oh, no, ah, oh, it didn't show up. Okay, not this time then. Uh, it probably only shows up if you uh, uh, decide not to take Dana back to the past. Let me just give him another poke. Yep, he is completely unaware of our existence. Bye bye, everyone. We'll be seeing you in the 2000s. Well, I'm seeing you here too. I forgot about that part. Let's go. What's with that lighting? Oh, well. It seems really bright, but also really dark at the same time. I blame the smoke. Okay, let's just pick up a tiny bit of energy and... Man, that wall looks very smoked. Anyway... Hello! Is anybody here? Well, how unfortunate, Ike. No going back to, well, a little time, a little while ago now, unfortunately. Ah. Okay, what's going on this time, Hugo? Long time no see. Actually, didn't we just see each other today? Is this... Hugo? Uh-huh. I really like these machines of the future. Being able to just project your voice a long distance, that's really something. How did you know my number? Oh, that. I just asked someone called Eckhart. 
You know, you mentioned it once. How did you get here? And why? Were you the one threatening Eckhart? Come on. Threaten sounds so serious. All I did was propose a deal. Can I help it if he jumped at the chance when I told him what he wanted to hear about his daughter? Oh, and about how I got here? It's pretty simple, really. Remember that tool you showed me? I just made one of my own, you see? What? Well, actually, I didn't make it. Not exactly. The Hugo of the Future completed it and gave it to me. A transport mechanism to time-space marked by phenomena of relevance. You like it? Just like yours. Actually, I think the other stuff may be different, but who cares, right? In any case, I can track and follow your machine. What about Margaret? Will you look at that? I'm forgetting the point of the whole thing. Can you drop by? I'll be waiting at the square. Bring homunculus, we have a few things to discuss. Oh, and by the way, do what I tell you, okay? Otherwise, someone you care about is gonna die. I don't have to tell you what I mean by that, right? Later then. Hugo! Hey! Right, unfortunately, it... Well... Maybe it'll turn out better this time. We'll see. I'm so glad it's so easy to get around the city. I'm so glad there are no cars going around. Okay. Hugo, where are you now? Hugo! Where are you? Man, you are so noisy! I'm here, right Just here! About the peacefulness of the town. <laughs> well, let's see. I'm going to make mother. Just like father made the homunculus. The only difference is that I don't have the Philosopher's Stone. That's why I'm going to use the homunculus instead. Hugo! What do you think you're doing? Sis! Stay out of this, will you? You're a hostage. You're supposed to be quiet. You don't want to know, Hugo. Your father would agree. What about father? He said that you might do something like attempt to bring Helena back from the dead. And he also said that he would burn all the records once this experiment was completed, to make sure you wouldn't. Oh, really? In that case, why were the papers safe and sound, even though Father himself had disappeared? I wouldn't know the reason for that. I have to do this. We still need to be a family. That's why I'm going to make Mother, and we can all be happy again. And that's why I need that stone. Get it? Come on! Get the homunculus! Hugo... I can work for both of us... so that we won't want for anything. We'll be okay. You'll see. So please, stop this madness! Make mother? Just listen to what you're suggesting! Sis, if you won't be quiet, I'll have to hurt you. Don't make me do that. Hugo! You know I can't stand blood. Great job, Hugo. You really so. want to raise the dead? The stone made it possible for Father to create the homunculus. That means this has to work, too. I can do it. I know. So come on. Go get it. A homunculus can't be... He always... he just appears out of nowhere. It has nothing to do with what I want. Yes, he saved my life, but that's about it. It just isn't possible for me to call him up. Don't you get it? No excuses. 
If you don't do what I tell you, I'll leave my sister here and go home. That's going to affect this age in a lot of ways. I can't even begin to imagine how much. That's a dirty move. Come on, hurry up. I'll give you 20 minutes. Well, that's fortunate, because we only need a little. Now, let's see if we can actually stop by the... No, I don't... I doubt we can just stop by the, uh, the cafe at this hour. But, uh, we may as well go check it out. So, Hugo's being a tiny bit gentler with Margaret this time around. Mostly simply because she's not, well, he is pretty sure that uh, she is not Ike's ancestor. He hasn't even considered it at this point. Yeah, it's it's so closed right now. Oh well, something happening to Hugo in this time. Well, yeah, but uh, there are only two things that we can do um, if Margaret is not our ancestor. And that's either bring Dana back or don't. If I remember correctly. Let's see, shall we? Ah, just as planned. Well, Dana should be waiting somewhere around a corner, somewhere, maybe. Maybe. Anyway, we're out of time for now. I uh, didn't actually think it would take that long to get just to this point, but... Ah, uh, well, we'll find Dana and bring her back, see what the timeline thinks of that, and, well, maybe everyone will be pleased. Although, how would that really affect Hugo's motive? I'm not really sure at this point, but, oh well, thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time.